folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending in the next 55 minutes to an hour or so discussing one of the tools provided us by one of our major partners, the folks with Aetna Medicare, and the use of their Medicare uh, marketing studio that helps you as a contracted Aetna agent grow your book of business, do so compliantly, and in the process, grow that book so you earn more through that contract while properly serving the population that you're pursuing, both your book of business and the prospects that come as part of it. Today's presentation is being recorded and it will be available as it uploads on both our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel. We will be sending out follow-up information as well for those who RSVP'd to today's session. So watch for that. It may be uh, caught in a spam filter. I'm trying to do more with links and less with attachments to minimize that possibility. But we want to make certain that you realize that there is additional information coming to you after the webinar. You'll notice in the software section that there is a question, a question and a chat section. We ask that you put your inquiries in the question section. We find that Generally, we cover them through the course of the presentation, but we will check periodically to make certain that we get you all the information you need to garner full value out of today's presentation. And so beginning basically with a little bit of level set as to who Premier Marketing is, for those of you that may not be as familiar with us as others, we are a national marketing organization that was founded in 1968. We're part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country. We act as an insurance wholesaler working with independent insurance agents and agencies such as yourself. And we do so through contracts at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. That offering is made through a full portfolio of products. So when we look at the Medicare arena, we offer the gambit of Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement Plans, and the standalone Part D prescription drug programs. But we also have a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, final expense life insurance and pre-need plans, a variety of long and short-term care programs, disability income plans, and the ancillary benefits that fill those specific needs and act in a number of different capacities for us as independent agents. When you look at the Medicare Advantage portfolio, it includes the national carriers and many of the strong regionals that make you effective in your market. And that philosophy carries over into the standalone Part D prescription drug programs, where many of these programs are part of the contract offered um, with the Medicare Advantage products. When you look at the Medicare supplements, a very robust portfolio with additional marketing support programs in play, to make you successful in this space too. We want to make certain that we address the entire spectrum of the Medicare beneficiary uh, that are out there and doing so we need a full portfolio of products that include the ancillary products for those special needs. And you'll notice in this category, the national carriers in each of those um, categories are there for you through our organization. When we look at the Medicare market overall, why do we want to market to it? with such fervor as many of us do? Well, you hear the aging of the baby boomers, the silver tsunami, the one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day. And if you look at the Medicare population in terms of age, well, it's a near exponential growth, but we see a number of those folks that are not taking advantage of the full benefits through their Medicare programs immediately at age 65. As social security requirements come up with a later retirement date for Social Security for us tail end baby boomers. You see some folks that are choosing to work past the age of 65, either for the opportunity to delay having to pick up the Social Security. The pandemic has a lot to do with it. And quite frankly, many people just choose to work past that age. So it kind of diminishes part of our market, but that's more than made up by the fact that 15% of the Medicare populations under the age of 65 accessing those benefits because of disability. And so we want to make certain that our marketing programs can appeal to the entire spectrum of Medicare beneficiaries because they have some challenges. 
We want to make certain that we help them address the chronic conditions that they encounter as we all do as we age, where two thirds of the population is three plus chronic conditions. And they have some challenges with income and assets as well. So having programs in place that help them budget and prepare for, in many cases, what's the inevitable really can properly serve the population that we hold so dear to us. We do so with that full spectrum of portfolio and a number of products with a, a diagnostic approach because folks have choices. When they first enter into Medicare, they could decline the Part B optional coverage for the medical. Thankfully, most don't. Some, however, will take Medicare A and B and self-insure for what it doesn't cover, pick up a Part D program to cover prescription drug costs, or the majority of them, but many people will then choose to cover the gaps in the medical through a standardized, modernized Medicare supplement plan, and some will go with the bundling in the Medicare Advantage Part C programs. And in each of these categories, we want to make certain that we're able to address their choices and, in light of today's topic, properly market to each of those segments. And what we're seeing is a choice that's actually a little swayed by some of the pandemic uh, pieces that we see in the different uh, pieces of research we have available from depth research. We saw that in the past, it was a pretty even split with choices on the base medical between Medicare Advantage and MedSup. And that kind of shifted a little more toward the Medicare Advantage mm -hmm. arena um, during the course of this pandemic that we're experiencing. But once again, each of those categories, we need to be able to properly communicate with the people that we're visiting with. And so that in many cases requires us to translate some of those lovely acronyms that are out there. What's an SEP? What's an AEP? What's an OEP? What's an MOUSE? Well, whatever it happens to be, part of what you'll see as part of the follow-up is a link to this guide that's provided by the Medicare Learning Network, a government website. It helps us translate. I've been doing this since the turn of the century, and there's always something that pops up and you go, what are they talking about there? This can help in that regard. Much of what we do can be dictated by the regulations in the Medicare Advantage and prescription drug space, and that entails the periods in which uh, a regular beneficiary can enroll. We just finished up with the annual election period not too long ago. We're in the OEP, which is always a conundrum of sorts because it's there, but we really can't market it. But we have a ton of special election periods that enable us to reach out to the majority of the Medicare population throughout the year. And that's where proper marketing support can make a huge difference to us because, hey, you look at the special election periods that, that are out there. Hey, notice that I didn't just say SEP. We danced past the acronym. You have the majority of people on Medicare that have an opportunity to change their coverage based on a SEP code. Is it the right thing for them? Well, for part of that, we need to make certain that we look not just at some of these standard SEPs, but some of the other enrollment opportunities that are out there brought about for one reason or another, most commonly mother nature. So we look at all of these different pieces and how can we make certain that the folks that didn't review their coverages during annual election period aren't doing so so far, how can we reach these people and help them realize that what they're not doing can really damage their pocketbook? It doesn't matter what type of the choice they made up front because the majority in each circumstance didn't review their coverage. And that includes some of the folks that are particularly vulnerable. And at this point in time, many of the major carriers are pursuing the dual special needs individuals, people that fall into these categories. And we want to make certain that if that is part of our marketing program, then we are marketing to them properly and compliantly. And we don't have to reinvent the wheel to do it because we want to make certain that these people can realize what changes in their programs. If it's network, if it's changes in the formulary where a drug is no longer available on that list or change tiers, how that can affect their financial situation because they're not using the government sources either. 
the plan finder on medicare.gov with its challenges over the last couple of years after they changed vendors as to who powered that well they're not using that either they're not necessarily reading the medicare and you book that they receive either by the united states postal service or electronically many of them don't access some of that information electronically either or even go to the internet and watch some of the different pieces that the government puts out to help explain this information and they do a pretty good job with it in all honesty the thing is many of the folks aren't looking at that and so we need to make certain that we're able to deliver information to the folks that are part of our target audience and be able to do so in a fashion that is influenced by today's society and circumstances where we have the ability to pivot from a virtual presentation to something in person or vice versa and do so with partners that have the technology available that allows us to do so and do so compliantly we supply a lot of that information and the opportunities and systems to do that through our organization but when you have a partner like our guest speakers today that really eases the situation and the resources they bring because of their size and technology and investment in this area can make that much more easily delivered because hey you got a lot of folks out there now they don't want to see you face to face they want to do things electronically and because of circumstances that are out there a lot of the folks that are in our target market are becoming increasingly digitally savvy because that's how they've received care over uh, this time period. And so they are even getting that from religious organizations with uh, uh, their services being held online. So folks are much more comfortable with receiving information in this way and having this kind of resource behind us can really help us be more effective uh, in pursuing what we need to do. And that also then gives us a, an opportunity to cross sell, put additional product in the household to take care of needs, which drives up our persistency and retention. So it doesn't necessarily have to be product all with one company, it just has to be with one agent and that's you. So we wanna make certain that we can do that. So in that, uh, in that vein, we've asked our friends at Aetna to come on and visit with us about the systems that they have in play. And we have Tom King with us today to help us with a practical application of how these systems can work for you and how they can make a difference in driving your business. So at this point in time, Tom, this is where we discuss where John turns control of the helm over to you and it is now your ship to guide, sir. All right. Very good. Thank you. And thank you for that great information, John. That was very helpful and certainly um, <clears throat> a good lead into uh, my presentation today. And I just want to ask if everyone can see my screen. I most certainly can. And thank you, Tom. Okay. Very good. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm happy to spend a little bit of time with you today um, to walk you through um, our uh, most robust marketing sales tool uh, within Aetna Medicare, which is the Medicare Marketing Studio, sometimes referred to as the Studio or MMS. <clears throat> and on this cover slide, I've got a brief description of what the tool is. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and read it. It's, it's a customizable Medicare marketing print portal that provides CMS compliant, state and county specific marketing solutions to help drive new membership and retain existing membership in its simplest form. And ideally, you know, they're, they're, as we go through this, you know, there, our materials are set up not only to inform and educate, but also to help um, on the new business side, really get your phones to ring, get prospects to email you or call you or attend one of your meetings. Um, and on, on the flip side of that, on the retention side, you know, to maintain that book of business with things like um, the direct mail, thank you uh, postcards or birthday cards, um, things of that nature. So it's really, um, we, we designed this with you in mind 
Um, and you know, I, I hope you find this presentation of, of value. And, and for those of you who have used the studio and have registered, I think you'll still find value in this presentation. And for those of you who haven't, um, you know, you'll get to learn more about the tool. So um, <clears throat> this particular image is what the new uh, site looks like. Um, and before we get started, uh, I did want to mention that this is a vendor-supported platform. Uh, YGS is the vendor that we partner with. That's York Graphic Services out of York, Pennsylvania. And they're a very large print manufacturing company, marketing and IT. So, you know, the perfect partner to meet all our needs. Um, they are, they are, um, you know, they go through a um, really intensive process when it comes to being certified as a vendor for us, um, not just for price, but also for quality, right? Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. So this is on a vendor supported platform. And the goal here is um, for this year, as, as actually when we started during AEP is where we rolled out this new site, but we wanted to give you more flexibility um, in an effort to customize your materials. And um, as we go through this, I think you'll find that um, this will be a benefit to you. So um, again, the homepage is pretty basic uh, in terms of search functionality. You can see here, the Let Us Guide You experience is what's recommended. And we're gonna be focusing on search by material type in a moment. You can also click on materials menu or just type something in the search bar. But to get started, if you have not registered uh, or have never been on the studio, um, what you need to do is send an email to this address. It's etna underscore comhub at the ygsgroup.com. And just let them know that you want access to the studio uh, and provide them with your NPN number. They'll then send you a confirmation email. You would put uh, either copy or type this web address into your browser, and it's going to bring you here to this page, uh, the welcome and registration page. And you'll simply type your NPN in, in here as your username and a password of your choosing. Uh, as long as you're ready to sell, you'll gain immediate access. So there's three types of orders that you can place on the studio. So the first one being a, a digital download, right? So um, all our downloads uh, for every material uh, on the site, if they're free of charge. Uh, you can go in, <clears throat> place the order, click on digital download, and then it'll go into your, um, your orders history page as part of your profile. And you can click on the download icon, and then you can uh, either print the materials out yourself or bring them to your local printer. The second option is print and ship. And this is similar to the download, with the exception being that the studio vendor YGS will actually print and ship those items to you, so you don't have to do it. Um, and the third is print and mail or direct mail. And uh, we have a, a number of uh, postcards available <clears throat> for direct mail. And we're going to talk about that in more detail in just a moment. As far as timing goes, so any order, any of those three types of orders that are placed need to be reviewed and approved. Um, and that's done by yours truly. Uh, it's actually, especially during AEP when we had uh, over 10,000 orders, it, it, you know, there's a lot there. But really what I'm looking for is to make sure that, um, especially with the customization, that everything loaded properly and everything's in there. I, I've seen things like, um, uh, you know, a phone number's not in there because it wasn't in the user profile when they first registered. Or, you know, it says Tom King, number one Medicare salesperson in Florida. Well, first of all, that's going to it's not going to fit and it's going to affect the rest of the contact information. So I'll edit out number one salesperson in Florida and send you a note to, to say why I did that. Um, or I may ask you to go back in and do something. Now that's really the exception, not the rule. 
But again, I'm just making sure that everything is, is accurate um, because um, neither one of us want pieces going out incorrectly. It's not so, not necessarily even a compliance issue as much as it is um, having um, prospects be, be able to contact you. All orders, um, and this also applies, I should say, um, for photo submissions. You can add a photo to your profile. Um, as photos come through, um, I do review and approve them, and we just ask that they be uh, business appropriate um, with a plain or neutral background. So once your order, uh, once you place your order and it's approved, print and ship orders, and this would be anything, it could be, um, you know, pull-up banners or uh, sandwich boards for meetings, flyers that you want printed for meetings. Um, once the order is approved, it takes three to four business days, and these are maximum times um, for the order to be executed and shipped. Uh, print and mail for direct mail, you need to add an extra day, and downloads are available immediately after I approve them. If you do choose print and ship, the courier transit times are listed below, and they're also listed uh, in order of least expensive to most expensive, right? So um, ground is three to five business days, two days is two, and overnight is one. And then lastly, direct mail. So um, during agent or lock-in, we have um, first-class postage available, which is one to three days. We also offer standard mail, which takes up to three weeks. Um, so do want to point that out. And if you do order standard mail, you'll get a pop-up that does say that as a reminder. During AEP, we actually suppress that option because of the much shorter time frame we have to get materials out. So we only use first class. So as far as ordering materials, um, I referenced this um, on the screenshot of the home page. And what we're going to do is just take a look at using the Let Us Guide You section for ordering materials. And we're going to look at, if you were to go in and click on Search on Material Type, this is what you're going to see. And uh, the system's going to ask you, which tactic would you like to use? So is it direct mail? Is it a flyer or a handout, a print ad for a newspaper, signage, social media or video? Now, social media right now that we offer is um, Facebook ads primarily. There's nothing else in there, but they're extremely popular item uh, with our brokers and agents. <clears throat> so if you were to click on, on handout, um, what you're going to See on the next page, it's going to ask you, where are you selling? So this is important because, um, as I referenced earlier, all of our materials are CMS compliant, and they're also CMS compliant in the state and county you're pulling. So um, you want to put in the state and county here, and what that's going to do now is it's going to take you to the next page, and it's going to ask you, who do you want to reach? Um, prospect or a member, is it MAPD or is it DSTIP? So if we're looking at prospect uh, MAPD, it's now gonna take you to a page that's going to have all the materials that I just filtered for, right? I'm looking for flyers uh, in my state and county that are MAPD and prospect based. And you'll get a series of flyers here that show, you click on the one you wanna use, and it's gonna take you to the order page. So this is what we rolled out new uh, last AEP, and this continues to be in place. So here's my state and county, right? So it auto-populates. Um, you select an agent type, FSR. I put this up here just because I wanted you to be aware of it so there's no confusion. It, it is uh, for all internal sales, right? our field uh, sales representatives, our broker managers, sales leaders, and so on. Anyone that wants to, to customize a piece, the other option would be broker, okay? Um, it's gonna ask you to select the lead plan. So you click on the drop down, select the lead plan. You can choose a, ver a version you wanna use. Is it for a meeting or an appointment? Um, the pieces will auto-populate with an image. Um, you can see here, there's images on here. But if you want to select a different image, you just click on this drop down and there's uh, up to 12 images available for you to use. Um, you can select the messaging call out. Now, the benefit bullets, um, 
These are approved plan benefit bullets for the state and county you choose. There's up to 10 that come up. Um, if you, each piece, depending on the, if it's a flyer or a direct mail postcard, um, will be limited in terms of space, right? And, and, and how much text is in a given uh, plan benefit bullet. But uh, you could conceivably put five or six bullets on a piece, or it might be three or four, again, depending on the amount of text. And then your ability to add a photo, phone number, email, and then there's also the ability to select another language. It goes in a purple bar that says, for instance, if you want prospects to know that you, you speak, in, uh, excuse me, you speak Spanish, it'll say habla espanol in that bar. And there's 30 languages to choose from. So here, um, the, to, to finish the order process, you would choose download, print and ship, or direct mail. You would click here to approve an online proof, which just basically is an acknowledgement that you're going to use the piece as intended um, in the state and county for which you chose. You won't uh, hold on to it year over year and use it uh, for the following year and so on. And then just click add to cart. We do have promotional items now for specifically for our brokers and agents. Um, if you click on the materials menu and scroll down, you'll see the promotional items here. These are the items we currently have. We are going to be adding to these uh, over the next uh, few weeks. We're going to be adding uh, the polo golf shirts, which has been a big request, as well as, um, unfortunately, due to Omicron still being with us and, um, you know, trying to keep everybody safe, we'll be adding hand sanitizer and masks, if you so choose. So direct mail. Um, a few things here. <clears throat> when you order direct mail, you can, if you have a mail list vendor that you like to use, you can purchase a list from them and upload it into the system. Um, if your direct mail campaign is retention-based, and you have your book of business um, in an Excel spreadsheet, you can upload that as well. Um, if you do choose upload my own list, you'll see a sample of how the Excel spreadsheet needs to look. And it's, it's very basic. It's last name, first name, full name, city, state, and zip. Um, however, if you want to purchase a direct mail list through Medicare Marketing Studio, you can do that. Um, the cost is $35 per 1,000 names. Uh, the age range, these are um, these cannot be adjusted, but that's why they're on here. I wanted you to be aware what, what it is. Um, during lock-in, it's 64.5 months to 65.0 months. In AEP, it's 65 to 85. Um, the mail list will pull in one name per household. And um, be, because um, these lists are priced and sold for single use. Um, what that means is once the list is purchased and the mailing is processed, that the list is then deleted and you cannot access it again. And it can't be shared with the purchaser. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, this next uh, section here, I, I think is extremely important. And again, this is not a, a public service announcement for purchasing your mail list through the studio. Feel free to, again, you can upload your own if you prefer. However, um, all direct mail list purchase on the studio, um, we have the capability that we work with our mail list vendor to suppress current Aetna Medicare members. So when you're mailing out to prospects, um, you're, they won't be going to our current members. Um, we also suppress anyone that's asked not to be contacted, and that could be for a myriad of reasons. Um, but we make sure that uh, those lists are suppressed as well. And then seeding of a list. So um, if you upload your own list, you want to make sure that your name and address is in there so that once the postcards hit the mail stream, you receive one. Um, if you purchase your list, um, the system will automatically pull your name and address from your user profile so that you receive one uh, in the mail stream. And then lastly, um, 
as what you're going to see. These are optional. Um, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm a little ahead of myself. Um, to, to close out the order, um, you're going to, again, this goes back to that customization page we looked at, right? Um, as John referenced before, you can do in-person and or online locations. I just happen to choose both here. Um, it's print and mail, first class, Colorado, Adams County. Um, and here you're going to see acquire a data list. And that's where you're gonna, how you're gonna um, get the list. And then the last part of direct mail is, this is what I was referencing before that's optional, is um, after the geography, you have to do this one, but um, you can choose by, uh, say, a single zip code or zip code ranges, um, a city and state, um, whatever, um, you want to do from a geography standpoint in terms of where you want to pull um, those names. Um, you just go down here, click on next, and now we're we're going to see um, a few demographic filters. Um, you know, gender, marital status. Uh, you click on next, and then uh, home finances. Household net worth, um, individual finances. You can do income ranges. And then you're going to get a summary document that, based on your search criteria, will give you uh, a total number of records. And depending on circumstances, you may get something that looks like this 62,400. And your budget. Um, is two thousand dollars. Well, you know, obviously you don't want sixty-two thousand four hundred. So you just type in the number of records that you want, um, and the system will arbitrarily pull. It'll go top, middle, and bottom of that entire list and randomly pull the names. So um, that concludes the PowerPoint uh, presentation. Um, I did want to jump to the live site to kind of go through that and hopefully everything I just talked about will resonate more with you. Um, but I will also pause there to see if there's any questions at the moment. Okay. If not, I just want to... Myself, Tom, I'm sorry. There is one question. Brandon is asking us on social media posts. It looks like the branded and unbranded is the same. If we post the approved ad, do we refrain from mentioning the brand and follow the corresponding CMS rules? And there is always a bit of confusion between what we do in print and on social media. So that's, yeah. you've handled the other ones through your presentation, but that's the outstanding question. Sure, and that's a very good question. Let me just quickly ask, I just jumped to the live site. Can you see this? Absolutely. Okay, good. Um, so, if I go to social media, um, I'll just show you what's on here. So, we do have a um, series of ads on here that um, users can, our, our brokers and agents can use. Um, this one happens to be DSNP qualification, um, enroll from home, have questions, uh, personalized options, and it, these are really just the headers. So let me um, let me just open one of these up. Now the reason these are unbranded is, um, you know, we obviously the Aetna brand, CVS Health, uh, very strong very solid reputation um, however if if a broker or agent were to put an ad a facebook ad this happens to be one of our spanish ones but put this on their facebook page and it was Aetna branded and they had an issue with Aetna. what we don't want is somebody to then start a string on your facebook page about a problem they had and then others 
chime in and then now it's 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 on you you know because it's your facebook page so we decided not to do that and just simply um go with the header and I'll, let me just go back um quickly here and get one that's not spanish Um, let's go with this one. So from a social media um, perspective, they are all going to be unbranded. Um, and I, I don't know if that, if you have additional questions or if that answers the question, but this is how it will look. There'll be a headline, and then um, there's going to be your contact information uh, underneath. Does that help? Yes, indeed. There are a couple of other things that popped up too. And if I might chime in a little bit, um, a logoed ad versus a generic ad can make a difference in the response regardless of the carrier, but it also gives us an opportunity to work with centers of influence in the community that want a diagnostic approach and that diagnostic approach in many cases obviously takes us to Aetna but it helps us in some of our community activity as well so I'll throw that out there one of the there are three questions that popped up Tom and now I'll, I'll do these briefly so I don't take you too long out of what you intended to do but the first one Robert asks us is what's the cost per thousand of the seated lists of uh, $35. There you go. And that's one heck of a price coming from a, a guy who does a lot of list pulling for different things. The next question, where do we go again in the agent portal to reach the marketing studio? So um, it's Aetna Tom Hub forward slash MMS. Awesome. We'll Aetna, include that oh, in some of the follow up yeah, too. Actually, if you, if you guys could see, it's Aetna. If you see it here, it's aetnahub.com forward yep. slash MMS. Perfect. The the other question that popped up is, um, when you go in the system and it asks if you're an FSR or a broker, what's the difference and what do you use? Um, so if you're not an Aetna employee, you want to, there's, there's actually only two choices on there. And I, we're actually changing this because I just had um, an on-site meeting, an uh, annual on-site meeting with our vendor, and we talked about that. And I said, you know, when a broker or agent pulls up FSR, pulls up agent type and sees FSR, um, I think we just need to, to re-categorize that as that internal and then broker. So when you go in, you're only going to see two options, FSR or broker. Just click on broker. That's for anyone that's not an internal at least. Well, we talk about a, an illustration of what an acronym is and how it can confuse us sometimes. That's a perfect illustration. Yeah. One other yeah. one that popped up here quickly, Lisa's asking, I don't understand what it means when a list is used once and never again. So um, the it's essentially the cost is set at $35 per 1,000 names because it is a single use only list. So the way this uh, was set up with the mail list vendor was that you'll put the list in and you know you can use say uh, here in Florida you could use let's just say two zip codes and you want a thousand postcards. The system will go through based on your uh, search criteria, the filters we looked at a few moments ago, and it'll it'll pull. 1,000 prospects uh, based on that search criteria. However, um, you will not see those prospects. You will not see the list. Um, it's all done behind the scenes. And then what happens is um, YGF, the studio vendor, um, that, that list pulls in when they're running the print job. So all the names and addresses are, are printed on the postcards. The postal indicia is printed on the postcard, and then they actually have their own postal office um, on site that has three pickups daily from the United States Postal Service, and they're 
they're uh, put into the mail stream. So um, the single use only is, is just that. Um, and again, the lists can't be shared. Now I'm sure there's mail list vendors out there that you could purchase a list from that will give you the list. Um, but if you order through YGF, through the MMS system, um, you can't access it. Awesome. Okay. And there's two quick ones that we'll talk about really briefly and then hold questions until you're completed with your presentation, Tom. But they all deal with the list. The first one is what format should a seated list be in to be submitted? Um, do you get notified of the approval of the download? Uh, there's a couple that go together pretty quickly. So if you if you choose um, upload your own list, whether it's retention or, or prospect based, as soon as you click on that, um, a PDF is going to pop up with a sample um, of how the list is formatted. But essentially, all it is it, it needs to be submitted as an X, in an Excel format, and it's just the way it's set up. It says uh, it's last name, first name, full name, so it's got first and last name, and then city, state, and zip. That's it. And I believe there's an address one and an address two field in there. So, um, you know, if necessary, but it's just the basics. That's it. And then it'll, it'll upload. If there's ever an issue, um, you'll get a, a message letting you know what, what that is. Um, as far as notifications, um, when you submit an order for a digital download, uh, print and ship, or direct mail order, once it's approved, you will see you will receive email notification that um, your order has been approved and it's in process. When the order, if it's print and ship, and the order ships, you will receive another email letting you know that your order has shipped. And something new um, this year is we we're adding the tracking number for you, um, so you'll have that. Um, if it's direct mail, um, once uh, it hits the mail stream, the USPS comes and picks it up at the vendor site. You'll receive an, uh, an e email notification that your direct mail has um, entered the mail stream. Awesome. And, and I'm sorry, there's a couple that I think that we need to address right now as well. Um, the time period once the name is protected and if you did a campaign, in addition to the $35 for the list, what is the cost of the entire process for 1000 So um, it, it, well, on 1000 we we can take a look at that. I was planning to show that in a moment. There's a price list when you go to place an order. Um, which will give a breakout. Um, obviously, the more you order, uh, the less expensive it is. Um, and we'll take a look at that. I'll share that with you momentarily. Perfect. And the last one we'll address right now is when you look at some of the social media ads, is there a way to have a choice as to the different images? Because in different areas, you may be um, appealing to a specific demographic, things of that nature. Are there different images so, that are available, or is it set? So th these are static. Um, they're the only pieces that don't have the image library. Um, so yeah, these are just, these are static pieces. The only thing that would change um, when you uh, order one is it's going to put your contact information in there. Okay, great. And uh, I'll hold some of the other questions, Tom. We got a couple more, but uh, to to expedite the process and move ahead. So yeah, we'll no be still for a bit. Um, yeah, and I do want to I want to leave some time for questions too. So I'm just going to show you a couple things quickly. Um, when you register, you can see up here it says hi Thomas K, right? So this is the drop down you would use. Um, and if and if you click on profile um, when you first register. Uh, you'll it'll take you to your user profile and you'll be able to put all your information in there um, as you can see here 
Um, you know, it, it starts with NPN titles, really not um, applicable, but it's there. Um, it should, should you want to put one in, but it's just all the basics um, here uh, as you go through. Now, um, there is an option to put your photo in, right? So all you're going to do here when you see this is select file and it, wherever you have your photo image saved, say it's in your documents, you just go into your, your documents file, click on it, and it, it'll come in here. Um, you can see it's approved. So um, what ends up happening is, again, I get those to review just to make sure. It doesn't have to be business formal necessarily. It just needs to be business appropriate, right, and meet all the, uh, at the standards. Um, this is one that people miss sometimes because it's at the very bottom, but I did want to point this out. There's a slide bar here um, for your hours. And it's important to put them in not only to let your prospects know what your hours are, but if you don't do it, it leaves a blank space, and then it just says, uh, it would just say Eastern Time, um, seven days a week. So just wanted to point that out. Now, um, the other thing I mentioned before is order history. So if you click on order history from this drop dropdown, um, there is a, uh, and I don't know what's in mine, because most of it is, Probably, well, there's a couple. Okay. So it'll show you um, what you've ordered recently and the status. So you can see here it says completed, completed, and then here's the um, download icons I referenced. You can click on those and it'll download. And you have immediate access to it. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to point out here is really because a lot of it is for me as the administrator, but um, uh, if you click on home, it's an easy way if you're searching for something and you don't find what you need. And for example, it'll take you right back to the home page. So um, I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to choose search by material type and I'm going to click on direct mail. And you can see my state and county um, auto populates. I click on next. I want a, a NAPD prospect piece. Sometimes it's just a little bit slower during the WebEx, but we should be okay. Now, um, just on that basic search criteria, these are all the pieces that appear that are currently available, okay? So I'm gonna choose benefit-specific postcards. Um, I should also mention that um, if you ha if you are having in-person meetings um, or virtual meetings, that information um, needs to be uh, filed in, uh, for use in Salesforce. Um, the, the studio vendor YGS receives a feed every day that has um all the meetings that were loaded within the last 24 hours the feed can take 24 to 48 hours so if you put in something at noon today you're not you're not necessarily going to see it um until the following day um also depending on the time of day and where you are um, it could take even into the next day before those meetings appear when you click on them so um, just keep that in mind uh, in terms of uh, timing um, so this is what we talked about a little bit with regards to um, the customized customization filters we looked at on the on the um, the training deck. So right now this is what you see, right? So um, I'm going to choose my lead plan, and there may be a little bit of a delay. Um, so at times. As you can see, it just pulled up. So you might, you know, you might need to wait a couple of seconds um, for it to pull up. But based on this particular plan, it's a zero premium plan, including dental. Now, um, select the version. 
so I don't I don't have um, meetings filed in Salesforce, so I'm going to just click on appointment as opposed to seminar. Um, select image. So this question came up before. So here's the image that it defaults to. However, um, you know, it's it's really either personal preference or um, if there's a particular group that um, you know you're targeting um, that or, or you think this might one of these images might be more appropriate. It, it really is just personal preference, but you know we did want to put uh, various options in here for our users. I'll just select this one, and there it goes. It just changed. Okay, and then we go down further. Um, this defaulted to all the benefits of original Medicare and more. Um, but I'm in Middlesex County and I'm targeting Middlesex County. So um, that's what I want my postcard to say. So now it's healthcare for the whole you in Middlesex County. Um, there's an inside panel, which we'll look at in a moment. Um, Now, benefit goals. Now, um, what I'm going to do, because the front has now been um, customized, I'm going to go to the back. Okay, so here's what I just chose under the inside panel headline. Medicare Advantage plans provide a total approach to care. Now, select benefit bullets. Um, dental. I, I want uh, folks to know about dental. That's a, you know, a hot item in my uh, market. Uh, again, it, it, you got to wait because of the number of filters. There is it tends to be a couple seconds delay, so just wait for it to load. I just click in here again. I want to talk about vision, and as you can see on this particular postcard, um, you know there's uh, limited space, so you're not going to be able to get every benefit bullet in there, but you'll be able to get a number of them. Um, and I'll do one more, um, tier one and tier two meds. Now, as I continue to go down, select the call to action statement. Um, I want them to call me for an appointment. Or I could say call for, uh, if I wanted to change that, uh, call for for personalized help. But if I you know, want them to call me for an appointment, either way, um, you, know, you, you have those options. Um, select seminar event location. Um, so in person, if you're doing um, in-person meetings. Do I want to add my photo? Yes. There, there it is. Um, select agent type, broker. And then um, this was the last one that goes in this purple bar here about advertise that you speak another language. Um, so I'll just put in uh, Japanese. And it loads. Now, if I did have meetings filed in Salesforce, I would click on add a venue and they would load right here. But because I don't, they won't. Now, going back to the price, you can see here, um, this, this is the pricing grid. You'll see this every time you place an order, right? So 1,000 plus, 35 cents. Now, output type, I want direct mail, which is print and mail. We're actually changing this as well. You know, print and ship, print and mail, I just, I just thought it'd be easier if users saw direct mail. That's what it is. Okay. I chose um, first class. And then this is what we also looked at in the deck. So I click here. And basically, this is just an acknowledgement. Um, a lot of this is based on CMS um, directives. 
but you're only going to use the product where the plan is provided um, as it's intended in its filing. So and this is important. Every once in a while, we may get one of those, um, but you know where um, someone may choose a flyer and send it to a newspaper and say, I want you to print this. Well, you, you can't do that. You have to use uh, what's in our print ad section. So you have to use, use it where it's intended and so on, not to maintain it year over year. You click here, you close, and you're good to go. So we only have three minutes left. So I'm going to pause there just to see if there's what other additional questions there are. I just wanted to give you a sense of um, the drop down here where you can get the different pieces as well as uh, how to customize. Awesome, Tom. Thank you. Two things that popped up, and then we'll close up. Um, one is this is all electronic. There's not hard copy of this information available. I would assume. I'm just going to ask that question. And then so, the second um, one is if you have marketing studio money, is there a place to find out what the balance is and how you apply that to an order? Yes, both good questions. So I will send you this deck and um feel free to share it all right and you guys will have this to you and as far as any funds up here for um it could be co-op funding it could be elite front runner funding um you would see it right here um when you go into here it'll be right here it'll say uh co-op funds 850 dollars and when you go to check out, it'll show you exactly what you have remaining and after, uh, before you check out. Um, and let's say you have $850 and it's $1,000 for the order. You can put the additional funds on your credit card. Awesome. So you can mix the means in which to pay for the services. Perfect. Correct. Thank you. Well, I, I want to thank thank you, Tom, for the presentation and the detail that you've delivered for us. Thank you very much. I'm going to pull control back for just a moment, run through some slides really quickly, and speak to why you would want to work this system and the support that Aetna Medicare delivers. Why would you do, would you do that with Premier? Well, one of the things that we do is provide systems that enable you to do some things quickly and efficiently, and that includes maintaining an agent profile insurance bay where you can contract electronically. When we speak to Aetna Medicare, we will do some direct links to do that to expedite process, but this is a great way to store your information. No one's gonna use it in any fashion other than what you direct it to be used. So it's a great way to add to, in a lot of cases, ancillary product and other things of that nature. We do offer discounted errors and admissions coverage for a qualified agent. What makes you a qualified agent? You got a contract with us. But this is protection that you own, covers you for that requirement that the vast majority of insurance programs do uh, require now. So it's different than adding you to a, a blanket E&O for just one policy or one program and then wondering what you're going to do about the rest. We also, of course, provide discounted continuing education credits through our association with WebCE so we can make certain, well, that your license is in play, that little requirement. We do also give you an opportunity to basically qualify for modified guarantee issued disability income programs for yourself and what you're paid a commission. So you add to your own benefit structure. And much as where today's presentation is being recorded, Past presentations are available for you 24-7 on our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel as well. This is a variety of product, carrier, uh, marketing uh, tip, hit, tips and hints that can be very helpful for you, available, uh, as I mentioned, 24-7. We do also offer complimentary access to the Medicare Center tool. What's that mean, John? Well, it's free. And what it does is it gives you an opportunity to use systems that have three quoting engines within a singular sign-on, enables you to collect that scope of appointment and store it for that 10-year period compliantly. A CRM comes as part of it, along with resources in there, such as 
uh, talking point sales scripts, things of that nature, all without cost to our contracted agents. Great way to maintain and your business, stay on top of it, act efficiently and compliantly. And that includes systems in there that cover the gambit of the Medicare products. So uh, Medicare Advantage by both a system powered by Connecture and Sunfire and the CSG tool that's in there as well. Um, we do also want to make certain that if incentives are available on a product, you know what they are and how you qualify for them. Keep in mind Medicare Advantage and PDP programs. This doesn't apply because the max compensation is set by the government, but many of the Medicare supplement and ancillary programs and other insurance programs will have carrier incentives that may qualify you for trips and premier incentive programs as well. We do want to make certain that you have the ability to get in front of people with different lead programs. So if you're cold calling for mid sup or ancillary products, you can't for MA or PDP, uh, those contact lists are available for you. Uh, butt it up against do not call. This is an opportunity to pull a list as well to use within the system that uh, uh, we just reviewed with Tom. We also have different programs that help you become the subject matter expert in your target market by appealing to community-based programs, including maximizing the return on any retail marketing you do, but ways to approach faith-based opportunities and provider marketing as well. Those are recorded in our uh, library of past presentations and are repeated and updated on a regular basis as well. When you work hand in hand with a good carrier, they may in many cases provide you additional prospects as well. This is something that needs to be a symbiotic relationship. But as you work with Aetna Medicare, um, it gives you the opportunity to um, become one in communion with the local management and provide you additional marketing opportunities there. We do have internet and direct mail programs as well, along with a unique T65 locator that helps you in the folks that like to door knock for a pro uh, appropriate product. And then we have a really cool system about uh, obtaining referrals as well. That direct mail program is production-based, but it deeply discounts the cost of the mailing. You can qualify for both health programs and final expense programs. We do use vetted lead vendors. Um, we wanna make certain that we keep you in compliance, but also each of these have systems that help you access those returns as quickly as possible, getting them as hot as possible. And that same philosophy carries over into programs that where you're purchasing just direct mail responses that have never been touched and give you an opportunity to fill your ca calendar in that fashion or work with perhaps a more limited budget and still reach out into the community. That process for internet leads are maintained through Facebook. There's a system here once again for final expense and Medicare as well. The Medicare leads focus on Medicare supplements um, in order to help with some of the compliance pieces that come into play in that manner. That T65 locator, available without cost to our agents, a great way for you to download a program to your smartphone and come into an array of information that's there for you that help you identify where folks that are turning 65 are. You're going to approach them perhaps with a dental program or with a Medicare supplement review, something of that nature, and it's available to you, a really neat program without cost. We will also send you as part of the follow-up a link to the recording on how to work uh, the referral process, not only with the people that you're visiting with and may have sold during a, a program uh, appointment, but also going back to your book of business and farming that for additional leads as well. We do all this, in the hopes of earning your business. Much as where you're pounding the pavement and looking to uh, maximize the return on your investment, we're looking to do the same thing with you as the independent agent. And it is then a system where what Tom has gone through and demonstrated with us today, a great program for you to implement immediately as part of your personal marketing plan, use it to help drive your business and it's something you can do right away. So as John Wayne said in the movie, The Cowboys, slap a piece of bacon in a biscuit, saddle up, let's ride, because we're burning daylight. You don't have to wait. This is ready for you to do. 
So you can reach us at 1-800-365-8208 with any questions you may have or access contact through our, our website at premiersmi.com. But watch for the follow-up that will come out. And if you are working with a premier marketer, they're going to be reaching out to you to see how you can implement this into your marketing program, answer some questions you may have or how you proceed with uh, making this work for you and your business and your agency. And we welcome that opportunity for that discussion. And until we're able to do that, I want to thank you for the investment of your time. We went a little over an hour today, um, but I think the value that Tom brought with the demonstration, that's well worth the price. Um, I want to thank you for any business that we've done in the past. Uh, for those of you considering that in the future, thank you for that. And until we're able to speak again, we wish you good selling. Thanks so very much. And Tom, thank you again for your help. And we look forward to visiting with you all again in the very near future. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.